Hello! I'm going to do your read today from the general read that I did this morning. It's the video just before this. And it's about divine masculine energy, recognizing that his divine feminine, his abundance had already come in, that he's been sitting in a situation and completely just, what? What am I doing? What am I doing? So let's take a look here. Let's take a look at some cards. What is happening with the divine masculine reading? Uh, we have a courtship here wanting to come forward with the divine feminine. So, uh, <laughs> spirit, I'm not ready yet. Just hang tight, hang tight. So <laughs> hang tight he's in despair hold on god's being funny right now um so listen guys i gotta do the housekeeping right this is what happens to me um remember to like and subscribe welcome to my new subscribers welcome to my old subscribers you know i am creating a beautiful family here if you want to be part of us please join us i'm going to be opening up a psychic school so uh i have these insane gifts that you'll see the magic that happens if you're new here uh the synchronicities and yeah if you want to work with me all the info's down below okay spirit let's channel it let's do it all right so here we go this is the magic guy can't make it up he's in despair about the false person <laughs> this is the magic you gotta subscribe to my channel okay this is the magic so divine masculine is in complete despair about a false person oh my god did the karmic bite you in the bum poor bb bum bum what else in his actions what else spirit do you want to say so he's thinking about his children there could be a child involved could be that they're having children could be uh his inner child so take it as it resonates it is a general reading so i can't tune right into your vibration but i can do that in a personal reading so yeah definitely looking at what is happening in his life um what he needs to action in regards to this false person so he's in a place of despair and i felt that this morning um that he's been waiting in the reading this morning he's going through a massive transition a massive transformation and it's kind of like I've been waiting for this to flourish with this with this uh, karmic energy and then realizing, oh, my abundance is with my divine feminine. Yeah, she is. So I'm going to pull another card to clarify spirit is pulling me to what do we use this morning, guys? Oh, we use the animal cards. That's that's what they're pulling me to. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see if we get repeats that's up to spirit sometimes they do sometimes they don't i don't know i've never done this before but we're bringing in new magic so let's see what is going on here for the divine masculine as i cut the deck we got the starfish on the bottom i talked about that for divine feminine this morning so if you guys want to join me i give divine feminine guidance in tarot only for divine feminine's energy not gender energy so make sure you look at that every morning at 8 a.m eastern standard time all right, I bring through some real potent messages to help you guys. It is called BBT, Bianca's Breakfast Tarot, all right? I swear to God, I need bifocals because I need to see what I'm doing. So let's take a look. I'm going to read it to me, guys, all right? Just you guys can watch me because I, I, can't, I can't do this revert. It's too logical for me with my intuition. So let's see. What's going on with Divine Masculine, please, Spirit? What are you bringing through? That's a little too much. It's a little too much <sighs> yeah it's a little too much they're saying put it back yeah because there's like more underneath there what's going on for divine masculine please spirit they're saying to take these ones so we're going to take these ones we've got different energies today we've got the frog energy this is divine feminine energy okay so the masculine has been looking at the false feminine in his life and going does he match a divine feminine energy this is albea the Caribbean goddess, which is where I'm here in the Caribbean rainforest, actually. But yeah, it's like, am I, <laughs> am I connected to the divine feminine? Does this birth new energy? What is this within? So they've been comparing divine feminine to the karmic energy. They're putting an end because their intuition, we have the fish, right? Flowing with the waters, being able to move and transform with the energy around them, uh, being sensitive to their intuition 
that means in their heart something has ended here in their life they're in that transformation piece we got the butterfly this morning spirits bringing that up right which is also transformation in the uh general read in the quick little energy checkup that i did we have the spider tarantula with children now this is about the web this is about like the tree of life this mask then probably has children or um is healing his inner child but i feel that there is really a family involved and looking at his offspring and really looking at what he's created for his children okay we got shark what he's dealing with is a very precise manipulative energy in his life okay very fine tuned a shark has amazing sense of smell they only attack when they feel threatened okay because i'm a scuba diver as well so i've scuba dived with sharks and dolphins and manta rays and turtles and all kinds of things so i i scuba dive whenever i get the chance and two years ago i, I dove with sharks for the first time it scared the shit out of me but it was amazing <laughs> um but they they're really misinterpreted right and so people think that sharks are these evil things that attack but they only attack when they're really threatened they're actually amazing creatures but this this masculine is misportrayed in his life as being this and it's despair because that's how the divine feminine looks at him like yeah you're a narcissistic idiot like whatever um <laughs> or whatever the case may be right sorry just like i can feel that in the collective it's like oh what a dick you know i'm hearing that you know what a dick um and he's been misportrayed and he also read the energy wrong in the karmic situation that's really what i'm getting bottom of the deck this came up for divine feminine this morning guys coming to the bbt's in the morning uh yeah definitely getting wisdom here okay working really hard with the bee energy yeah things coming to light with the dragonfly i don't read these in reversal medicine okay white buffalo very sacred energy okay so let's get some tarot let's get some tarot tarot let's get some tarot isn't that how you say it so this masculine energy is really taking a look at divine feminine energy does this false person match it does this uh yeah and putting an end to his feelings and what he's been flowing with really getting precise about what he's been creating remember the, the spider is the oldest animal totems ever right and the spider creates in darkness and in the morning remember charlotte's web the morning the web is glistening in the sunlight and so this masculine is creating in the dark while he's going through the dark he's actually creating so he what is he creating spirit is saying he's creating his ten of cups creating his ten of cups we have here the temperance in reverse because he's completely imbalanced he's ending heartbreak here and his guard is up right now okay so we've got some overall energies coming through what is this towards the false person spirit the hermit in reverse exiling cutting out all right it's like an execution <laughs> so it's like an American execution eight of pentacles in reverse with the hermit with this false person i don't want it i don't want it i'm not working with you this energy has been coming through quite a bit i don't want it i'm not working with you this one stayed down he sees things very clearly now he's not at a crossroad he's made his decision that came out this morning too whoa what did he make a decision about spirit what did he make a decision about Hold on, I'm picking up something. Um, right, trying to build something, trying to be part of society, trying to build a community, um, trying everything in his in his God known talent that he's built up right now, and nothing is working for him. Okay, that he had to put a complete halt to our relationship because nothing was working. He had to halt this spirit said. He had to end this pain with the nine of swords and exile it it's like it happened so quickly somebody may have had like a mass it's like a mass flood is what i'm hearing i don't know what that means like a mass flood but like a massive like what is this mass flood that you're talking about like it just had to stop it just came gushing out like it just they either suppressed something for so long that it just came out and just lit the fire and burnt and down baby narcissist this karmic energy has been a complete gone back to old ways okay not giving to this anymore they're done they've been contemplating for a while the push and pull i feel that they're really over this 
they're thinking about what's happened with this person. Yeah, they don't like what's happened with this person because the Ten of Swords is on the bottom here. Because they're saying... Just give me one of that Two of Cups. Because that Two of Cups is upright. Oh, look at that. The Ten of Swords with the Ace again. Right? They're not taking responsibility for any betrayal. This karmic energy is not taking responsibility. So they have to move on with this Ace of, of Wands. Yeah. For something new, passionate. This It's a false person. And then he's looking at the Divine Feminine. Looking at the card up here with the Divine Feminine and the Frog. Sorry, it's my father sneezing. Have you heard that? Yeah, like not like looking at it and being like this frog the divine feminine never did this to me the divine feminine allowed things to happen and i feel that he was in a codependent state before and looked at love in a sense of like well if someone doesn't chase me they don't like me and you didn't chase divine feminine and now they're like oh shit shit did i fuck this up Let's take a look. We're going to see how the divine masculine towards the feminine. What is this death right now that this masculine is going through? We know that there's a false person that they're ending it with. We have the moon in reverse. We have the ace of pentacles, the three of pentacles in reverse, and the four of pentacles. Join my sweepstakes, guys. It's this Friday. I'm giving away this deck. This is my tarot deck that I'm holding up. And two free readings, okay? Um, details below. Yeah, not working on a situation, ending a contract here. Now my art left arm is twitching with divine feminine energy. I felt that all day today. There's like high potent feminine energy coming in. A new beginning, things being revealed now in regards to what he's been closed off to. He was closed off to this divine feminine. He didn't move on it with a hanged man. Yeah. <laughs> he ended a cycle. He's now ended a cycle with this energy, the karmic energy for a new beginning. Wow, look at that. He's put an end. What is this? The Nine of Cups in reverse, ending like the old ways of living that's creating injustice in his life. So what is he doing with his children? So he's definitely moving on from something. He's definitely moving on from this karmic. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Something has ended. What is this with this um, child? With this child? He hasn't been that emperor and taking care of his family. Yeah, he regrets it. This person had a troubled um, relationship with his own father, with this masculine energy in reverse. Very much uh, repeated patterns that he's been trying not to, right? Ten of Wands in reverse, not being able to take responsibility for his children, the foundation, the family life. Whatever this, we're going to take a look because I feel this karmic came in between him and his children. Thinking that they know how to parent. Oh my God, this is such a toxic karmic, like I can't even whatever i know that that's my parenting i raised i raised my kids by myself or i did all this by myself it's like no that you didn't heal so no your children are actually taking care of you and your emotional ups and downs i can gratefully say that my children will never have to take care of me ever not even emotionally i know they don't have to have that burden <laughs> they don't this karmic how we're gonna look at that because there's something with what is the relationship between the karmic energy and this child i'm definitely feeling it what is the energy the devil between the karmic and the child see i'm feeling that completely toxic hmm. this masculine is reviewing his life about women in his life how his mother was how the mother of the children are how he was raised how relationships he's had with women how children should be treated and this karmic person whether it's their child or not is not has not healed their feminine energy and they're highly toxic and they're being completely toxic with the child with the child children in this situation but i'm giving them love there's masking in the sense of love it's love this is the only way that we can renew this this is good for them this is discipline but it's keeping things stuck with these children yeah the eight the queen of wands in reverse overly aggressive overly like disciplinarian in a sense of not even mental but like screaming off their freaking lungs you know this masculine energy here is fighting with this right so there's something happening with the kids yeah he's illuminated to it too 
What is this with the, uh, what are we clarifying with the child? He's illuminated to the kids. That's why he's like, I'm freaking out of there. I gotta help these children. Sorry, if I talk my head is my cut is cut off. <laughs> yeah. It pushed his divine feminine, the real feminine energy in his life. That's why this morning is like it was just under his nose. Just right there. The real feminine energy is definitely like, damn. How did I miss that? So he's in despair now. Complete despair. Okay, things are not what he thought. He came off. Now he's coming off looking like he's an ass. Pretty much. Pretty much. And he's in complete despair about that because he was loyal. Because there's a dog here. He was loyal to toxicity. What is this with the divine masculine here? Not being able to move forward with the six of swords in reverse because of conflict with the five of swords. Yeah, he has to end a commitment and something traditional in order to, yeah, be with his divine feminine or to even move into his own life and be inter and be independent. This is uh, four of cups. He regrets. He's he's looking at what he's lost here. What has he lost here? Does he like really? You're losing the karmic situation. Is it really like that great? I would be happy. I'd be like jumping with joy. I'd be like, yeah, that bitch is out of my life. Uh, I don't understand. I don't know maybe it's just me it's like when i know when i'm in a toxic situation i'm leaving them i'm like fucking thank god i don't hold compassion for them and they're like oh i'll give you time to heal i'm like bye i the relationship is the time to heal we've been doing this for so long i've given you enough time bye i'm out so i don't know why they're still stuck on this four of cups spirit why are they still stuck on this four of cups like this is where i'm like can we just get it over with people come on come on dms if you're watching this come on yeah, they're being manipulated. They were manipulated with the magician in reverse to move very quickly into the situation and, and get rid of the karmic, uh, the divine feminine here. So their four of cups is how they're looking at the past of how they persevered, nine of wands, how they moved forward. Hey, it wasn't really what they wanted anyways. What is that? with the yeah they want to return to the past eight of cups in reverse they want to come back what about the karmic energy here what about the karmic aren't they in love with the karmic i'm so in love with the karmic oh they feel so good friendship has failed i think they've tried to have a reunion time and time again this is the back and forth and it's just like you no know, this truth keeps getting stuffed down with the ace of swords in reverse and it keeps failing and they're like <laughs> they have to action this now with this king of wands what is this with yeah and they've been avoiding a tower moment again because it just keeps happening so it's like oh my god i think i broke up with this person like 10 times already and nothing has happened so let's get a different set of cards guys we'll clean this up later let's take a look at what is going on with the karmic Ugh. should i pull that energy guys should i should i oh uh, let's see we'll organize that later i'm gonna use the same deck i've been doing readings today and stuff and i'm just not into fixing it let's take a look what is going on with the karmic energy yeah let's pull these ones what's going on with the karmic energy divine masculine towards the karmic energy we just saw the masculine on the bottom here yang energy as i was saying that what is he doing with this karmic energy the loyal heart oh but i already come in in i can't lose the foundation that i have well i don't know if you want to evolve you gotta let shit fall apart that's just how it is you know i know it's hard but you gotta you gotta that's why you come to me because i've already done it <laughs> I've already, like obliterated my whole life you know completely completely whoa karmic is having a hard time here what is going on with the masculine towards the karmic out to sea i'm out to lunch i ain't go i ain't dealing with this what is the masculine towards the karmic poised come to the edge observer so sorry i'm gonna do this towards me because i'm doing it towards you guys and i can't do it this way so let's see how the karmic is towards the masculine i feel like we need to do that how is this karma towards a masculine message? I'm probably like bombing him with messages. <laughs> Believe me. 
I'm sorry guys, I'm a bit of a drama queen. What is going on with the karmic towards the masculine? New life. Yang energy, there's the masculine. Time to nap. Hmm. It's very, inter some, ugh, it's very interesting how both these energies in the mind are the same. This is the masculine energy saying, you know, he's out to sea. He's like pretty much out to lunch. And um, this karmic energy is like messaging. Like, why aren't you talking to me? Why aren't you talking to me? This person's head is like down. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. And in the heart space, you know, poised. I'm going to get another card on that. Because I feel like he feels really good about where he's at in his heart with the karmic. And the karmic is starting a new life, knowing that they have to start a new life. What is this poised? Here and now. They're staying very present with themselves. I don't feel that they're giving anything to this karmic energy. Yeah. What about this new life for karmic? Milk and honey. Hmm. They want their milk and honey. We're going to have to pull some tarot and clarifiers, obviously. But what does this come to the edge? The truth has come out here that there's no place like home. And there's a change in the wind. So there's definitely something happening with this masculine towards the karmic with the higher powers come in. In his actions. He's taking a leap of faith somewhere here. Because the truth has been revealed. And that he's coming to the edge somewhere. So what is this yang energy then? for the karmic happy happy they're happy that he's found himself never ending story I think that they've been going on this loop for a very long time okay um, clarify this milk and honey for the karmic yeah chopped wood it's like they're cleaning mm. it up there's definitely been a breakup here there's been a change here I feel they've been healing and letting go um and this karmic energy is trying to be happy for the masculine because they've been stuck in a loop too. So I'm picking up that there, there really is some type of transformation that's happening. This karmic is taking a break from talking. They are messaging constantly, but this masculine is not coming and responding. So, you know, when I feel the karmic energy, it's like, yeah, but it's just a game. It's just a game they're playing. I'm like, I need the tarot. I need the tarot. Let's check out the tarot. Use my deck. This is the deck that you can win, guys. This is the deck that you can win. I know the setup is weird. I can't do it by the window over there, which I usually do, which is a nicer background, but the lighting and stuff doesn't work, and I'd be looking, like, really dark, and then you wouldn't see properly, so. <laughs> so. I'm going to be home soon. I'm going back to Canada, so then there will be... Oh, this is the wrong deck. Sorry. That's the one that we used earlier. I have two. Here's the other one. Um, so, yeah. So, the setup will be much nicer and cleaner and, you know, not cleaner. It's not like it's a mess here. But you know what I mean? Why is this... Am I seeing something? Yeah, I am card there that just got mixed up just now all right so let's take a look what is going on with this masculine energy towards the karmic here what is going on with this masculine towards the karmic they're going back and forth here they're not actioning anything when they get a message because they're focused on their ten of cups they're, that's why they're ending a cycle so that Ten of Cups is out again for the masculine. That's what I was feeling like. It was under their nose the entire time. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. And so what is this message from the karmic? How are they responding to the masculine then? They don't want the wheel to turn. See, there's manipulative shit going on. They're just acting a certain way. Like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm moving on. I got this. I'm okay. <laughs> well they're not it's like those women that are like you didn't tell me how nice I look today you don't love me anymore <laughs> come on God, I can't okay so yeah they're they're doing this for commitment 
What is this with the higher fit? The wheel's not turning for the karmic in their response to the masculine here. They're not working on it, okay? Because they know the wheel's not going to turn. But why is the higher fin here? Yeah. Because they're not being offered anything into this commitment. So they're messaging like crazy. This feeling that I'm getting like on and on and on. What are you doing? 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 And the masculine's like, I am not actioning this. It's making them go a little stir crazy. What is this karmic doing and in their intentions towards this masculine energy when they're texting all the time? And what does it have to do with the hierophant and things not working out? Because it ended, there's no second chances, and they, this is the end of it. That's why those cards came up this morning. Like, this is the end of it, and they can't handle it, so they're on it all the time because they're clingy. I hate people like that. I hate people like that. I hate you know, the times I've had to break up with people like that. It's like, it's over. What are you doing? Yeah, trying to seduce. See, I can't make up. Yeah, right now. You're right on. <laughs> like, that is what it is. So let's take a look at this masculine. Gotta put the bifocals on. Um, here and now in poise. What is this about with the karmic energy? I don't understand that because I feel like he's staying his like poised self. He's staying in his own energy. He's staying very present. He's not giving in to things. Yeah, things have been revealed where he's halted everything right now with the karmic energy. He's not investing in it with the seven of pentacles in reverse. And he sees very clearly. A lot of sevens I've been seeing lately, guys, even in my personal readings, like seven, seven, seven. Um, that is high spiritual guidance. So he's being guided in his heart to a higher realm. So he's definitely not investing. He's seeing clearly. And this karmic energy feels this new life that they have to find their own happiness and they're trying to clean it up with this chopped wood they feel broken down right now that this was a missed opportunity with the masculine they have to stop fighting it um and discover something else with the page of swords so they know what they have to do but do you think they want to do it do they ever really want to do it no not really yeah they want the nine of cups okay they want their wishes fulfilled and things have been spilled open with the Seven of Swords in reverse. So they know. So they know, but they don't care. I can hate that. That is like the most distorted feminine energy ever. It's like, have you never learned how to let something... Like, why do you want something that doesn't want you? Like, I hate that. I would never want to force anybody to be with... Me. Like, I want you to be with me because you want to be with me. Not because I'm hanging on to you. Like, ew. Like, what is that, guys? What is that? Why do you want somebody that doesn't want you? You know, like, I get it with twins. It's different. Like, it's like, I understand that. Like, it's so potent. But, like, that's a different transformational purification process that happens. It's not a clingy codependent energy like every other relationship that talks or, like, has a karmic girl with a snake energy to it, right? Yeah, because they're addicted. Uh, this karmic is addicted that this person holds the key to their heart and they're heartbroken. Well, grow the frig up. It's not your person. You're, you have an addiction. You have a problem. Twin flames aren't addicted like that. But they won't get that, right? So, okay. So, let's see. Bifocals on. What is? I should stop saying that. I'm going to end up having bifocals. Now I'm going to go for laser surgery soon. I'm going to have to do that. Okay. So, this, <laughs> this masculine. Let's catch myself with my manifestations. This masculine is actioning his life. He's coming to the edge. Things are changing. He's guided by higher power. The truth has been revealed. He knows where his home is. That's what we were feeling. That's really what we have been feeling. Okay. Yeah, he's breaking contract. Three of pentacles in reverse. That came up already too. He wants a reunion. Three of cups. How is this related to the, to the karmic energy, please? He wants to apologize. He's apologizing. I'm sorry. I want this reunion. It's my destiny. That's what he's saying to the karmic. I'm ending this contract. I want a reunion. Okay. This is my destiny. This is what I meant to be doing. I'm sorry. And what is this karmic saying? I'm happy for you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you. No, you're not, bitch. You don't have enough love in your heart to be happy. I'm sorry. You have a lot of learning to do when you're a karmic right not a not a soulmate this is a karmic energy and soulmates are different okay this is definitely a karmic soulmates would have not clung or have this desperate energy a soulmate would be like baby okay i love you look i get it you gotta do this again 
I'm not gonna fight for this if this is not you don't fight for somebody who wants to knows they need something yeah because this masculine wants to take his cup he's not um giving he's, it's overly controlling right they're trying to they're in a controlling energy yeah four of swords in reverse where it's not healing anymore the healing's done they've done as much healing as they possibly could so why is this karmic ass acting like i'm so happy for you let's get the other deck why is the karmic saying i'm so happy for you i'm so happy because then really they don't feel like they're good enough well they're taking their time to heal because they know that they were an option key on the ring and they've been hit by cupid's arrow okay they and they can feel that this a new love is coming in that's why the cup is leaving clarify the cup of the knight of cups yeah girl with the snake that's, that's what i'm saying it's a karmic relationship that's what i was saying so let's take a look at the mask and so he's observing the situation right now what is he looking at i think he's looking at the divine feminine here uh, his his gaze his attention is going off the karmic energy because he's revealed something here yeah for a new beginning he's looking for his new beginning with that fool card he is definitely looking for a new beginning <laughs> the karmic energy he's he's observing how her reaction is because she's toxic as fuck right yeah look at this the two of them look at this this is them the king and queen of swords in reverse complete narcissistic couple that's how they fed off each other greed money injustice you know devil energy was it fun was it fun i bet it was lots of fun isn't that pain wonderful when you don't listen to your heart and soul yeah it really fucking hurts doesn't it ah <sighs> God, when are they gonna learn divine thumbs? When are they gonna learn, right? Um, yeah, you gotta listen to your heart and your soul. You gotta stop, get out of your freaking head. What is going on here with this uh, new beginning here? Page of Wands, a new path is opening up. What is this King of Swords in reverse here that's toxic? That's the home they built. They built a foundation, and this math one does not want to action it anymore with the King of Wands in reverse. This is the home they built. That's the stable home you built? Ew. What is <laughs> the balance? Try to bring balance to this home life, to this family life. Try to manifest this with this energy. And is it working? Moving on, the Knight of Swords. A quick message about something. What is this message about? Wanting to win victory. He's unstable. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Unrequited love. Instability. Losing money not able to break it down but look at this again having an internal change of not be able to break it down but knowing a new path is coming knowing he has to make a decision in this relationship because he pushed divine feminine away okay <laughs> so what is going on with the, with the karmic energy they're resting they're taking a break here they're trying to uh they're not accepting that this is over not till pigs fly so we'll see um not till the fat woman sings kind of thing nine of wands here with perseverance there i'm gonna still push for this i'll give him a break but i'm gonna still push for this look relentless cunt that you are um <laughs> i don't know i'm just so like so fed up with this energy that's why i read the karmic energies like that if you notice my I change in my expression because i can feel that energy is so gross to me yeah, nothing's moving forward, and they're very frustrated with this, with the Ten of Wands, the Sun in reverse, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Nothing's moving forward, so they're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing because they're trying to get over their heartbreak about the situation, but they want it. They want it, but they, they and they know they have to walk away, but why aren't they walking away? Oh, well, maybe they are walking away. Are they walking away? They see things clearly. They know they have to walk away, but things aren't moving forward, but they're still... They're taking a break. I'm getting that they're just doing it as a little pause. Clarify this, Spirit. Are they walking away? Because I'm getting a mixed message here. They're trying to heal their heart right now in this moment. And what about leaving the situation alone? They're stabbed in the back and they're making healthy choices. So they may be trying to heal it. I don't know. There's something else shady going. What is that shady feeling I'm feeling? What is that? That I don't fully trust that Spirit? What is that that's hidden with this karma? Because I feel it. The chaser. They're still chasing. It's another tactic. Guys, I'm telling you. I can feel it. Like, I know. <laughs> like, 
it's just another tactic spirit is saying because of the breakup so they're going to give it time but they're they're done they're not done are they done spirit are they done no they want to engage they want to take this to the next level so they're not taking no for an answer they're they're saying this is unconditional love i'm gonna let him have his growth i'm gonna let it be right now because i love him and i'm gonna show him that i can be patient Blech. see I'm never wrong in my guts never wrong in my gut feelings ever ever that's why i'm opening a psychic school because i'm like guys we gotta get refined with this you know the mystery school it's called let me just do this for a sec um as starlight esoteric academy because it's a very refined um specialization in your intuitive gifts i'm going to sort this out afterwards let's get how the divine masculine is towards divine feminine i need a sip of water i'm going to use some different tarot don't forget to like guys please like my video subscribe it really helps my channel to grow it's really great karma too and don't forget the sweepstakes do not forget the sweepstakes sweet sweepstakes are happening this Friday, you gotta subscribe by, you gotta enter by this Thursday, okay? By, I think, 11 p.m., okay? Eastern Standard Time. So, all you gotta do is subscribe, like, and just watch the video and comment on the video. Just say, like, hi. You don't even have to, like, write a whole thing. Just be, like, send a happy face, like, whatever. All right, let's see how the Divine Masculine feels towards the Divine Feminine. Sorry if you hear my daughter, she's gaming in the next room. And there's like open cathedral ceiling, so it's not really a full wall. But let's see what is going on with the DM to learn from the mind. From the <laughs> right under your nose the whole time, eh? We have these two wanting to come out. Judgment and my love for you is deeper than the ocean. Oh, poor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in a sarcastic place because I'm just, I, I don't even know. I. I feel like these energies are just constant like this and this is why I'm doing the morning to help the DFs move through these energies because I know that they can be so repetitive when you watch a reading so I actually give some kind of like coaching so you guys get a feel of what my coaching is like too because I get step by step. I mean it goes more detailed when you work with me but it goes step by step so you can get an idea of how to move forward through these energies and so I shouldn't be. I mean I have a compassion for these DMs but not in my vibe like it's i'm beyond my divine masculine to be honest I'm, I'm past all of that we have breaking free dead inside well i bet pride yeah because you let your pride getting in the way please forgive me yeah you're forgiven i just want nothing to do with you that's me i really don't i really don't because when when i look at my situation guys i did nothing wrong i did i've gone through my head over and over and over and i'm like I was nothing but a loving human being and this has been the betrayal my whole life but it's also moving beyond that betrayal is a karmic cycle for me so that's why i'm done judgment again making a decision of their deadly sins oh have fun but this is not all the masculine so i'm not trying to i'm not bringing in my masculine into this i'm just expressing um these energies because this masculine that i am channeling is breaking free is actually doing his work mine's not so just so you know like i don't bring my situation in um <laughs> mine's like lost in the pits of hell and will probably stay there for this entire incarnation so um this is like breaking free this person feels dead inside they know they need to action their pride and they are really sorry and they want divine feminine to forgive them so i just wanted to bring that up so you guys know that like, i'm not channeling my stuff my situation is completely different than the energies that are coming through me, okay? So what is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? Yeah, and it's like, yeah, I know you guys are like, how is she so open? It's like, because I'm raw and open, guys. That's how it is. Like, I'm like this at work when I worked in the government. I'm like this, like, as a friend. And I'm like this when you drink ayahuasca with me. I'm just, I don't change. I don't wear masks. So that's why. That's why things come out so authentically. So that's why I share my story with you because I don't care. Because I go deeper, right? I go deeper than than just the stuff that I'm sharing with you. Obviously, I don't share everything, but I go so deep that I can share these personal things with you. That's how deep I go. So 
yeah i don't have to hide myself like and yeah so let's see this masculine is breaking free spirit is saying he's breaking free he wants his his destiny here okay he wants his destiny he feels dead inside towards divine feminine he wants to express his truth he wants to communicate Whew. this masculine is wonderful he wants a resurrection wow some major arcana some potent cards coming out here for you guys your dm's got to talk to mine not really i don't want my dm but truly he wants union okay he wants a foundation wants a foundation here right breaking free let's see he's breaking free to be with divine feminine he's making the decisions of what's toxic in his life with that deadly sin so he is definitely breaking free it's been a rough ride here with the six of swords in reverse he can't come forward right now because he's about he's just ending up some loose ends of ending some burdens in his life so he is definitely giving to a situation right now to completely break free to end his heartbreak okay so that he can come free towards you he's holding strength in this situation and really taming his ego so he wants to come forward to divine feminine and definitely wants to speak to her because he realizes who she is he's dead and now he notices the truth that's like what was right under his nose you know he knows that this is who he's meant to be with and he knows the truth of this situation now and he knows that he has to yeah two of cups that this relationship feeds something in him and he's been stuck he hasn't been able to action this he's not doing the in and out thing anymore guys he's ending a commitment here solid commitment okay he's ending it because he doesn't want to yeah he because he knows that it kept things trapped so he knows that he has to speak his truth what is he going to say from his heart to divine feminine what is he going to say he's going to say i'm manifesting i want to create with you baby Ooh. your dms are awesome your dms are awesome the five of cups regret regret that you know he was avoiding his rebirth before you know he avoided the situation but now he wants to do that okay because this is like it's not refusing the death to happen i mean this is the rebirth in this card so he's definitely going through a rebirth and wants to tell you that and wants to quickly and swiftly move towards you divine feminine so he's he's having a resurrection out of his pride and ego he's surrendering their ego that's amazing that's amazing so this pride and ego he's definitely surrendering his pride and ego wow abandonment of a relationship that he's making a decision to renew it he may have abandoned you last time and he's gone within and he's done his work with the hermit and he's definitely you know breaking contracts ending things to come towards his divine feminine to have a resurrection to have a reconciliation i saw the reconciliation card from the angel deck in my mind just now fate has come into this connection he wants to stop he, he he's he's been fighting for this he wants to finish the fighting he wants a new passionate beginning because what he's been having um waiting around for that was that waiting card he's been waiting and waiting for his new beginning and nothing's happening he's like oh my god it's not happening because it's my divine feminine that i like completely obliterated out of my life we have the ten of cups here right on top too so yeah his walls have been completely broken down spirit is saying take the top of the deck he's been in conflict and defeated and the truth has been revealed to him so he's sorry baby i'm sorry baby please forgive me i want union with you wow your masculines you guys you gotta let me know how you're feeling in these energies because your masculines are wanting you you know like for me my my path has been a total sacrifice to god i think i'm gonna be like mother Teresa. you know how she gave up her life to serve god i'm pretty sure that's and that's why i'm doing this for you guys like my path is about twin flames it's about yin yang balance I don't need to be in union with my twin to bring these down for you and I, I get so much joy just with working with you guys honestly it is such a blessing like that sacrifice in my heart is beautiful to serve you guys in that way truly I, I didn't think I would ever want that I always wanted my person but I don't want my person and I want this for you guys like I don't know it's such a it's, I don't even I can't even explain it it's been a huge transition for me like truly like i love you guys so much like i'm loving the i know it's only been two like mornings with you guys but i love it it's like so fun i love you guys so much like i love you guys so much look at this cycle is ending oh my god i can't wait till I start my school we're gonna have so much fun and then the retreats that i run you guys come like we're, we're gonna have like it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait i can't wait 
Um, yeah, so I know. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This masculine is definitely ending cycles and wants a union with you, okay? And he wants to apologize. He's just not offering that cup just yet. Why is that, Spirit? Why is he not offering the cup? He's, he's trying to become victorious. Oh, wow. We have the... Sorry, my son is playing games. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So Spirit is showing me to show you this. This is a couple. This is a couple. These are this divine masculine, divine feminine. They are very grounded, very powerful couple, very wealthy, very abundant, and not just money, but in very much tangible things. And things that may have failed when they were in connection before. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Spirit is saying where things have failed and they've turned their back on each other. They're coming into a place of victory and success after having go, going through this war. Now, when people see this victory card, I just actually did a reading. This message came through. So this may be for you. You know who you are. <laughs> like I just finished it because I'm wearing the shirt, right? You know, um, you have to go through dark places to be victorious. And sometimes we don't see that darkness when people start to win, you know, and get things that they deserve. And so both of you are going to be victorious because you both sacrificed or did something in your connection to be able to come into this union let's get some messages guys and that will be your reading wow 45 minutes this is my mirrored message deck it'll be on the next if we get up to like i don't know when the next milestone should be should it be like eight thousand six thousand i don't know but i'm gonna give it away at the next draw i'm still adding some to it so the white is the masculine, the black is the divine feminine. Take it as it resonates, okay? What is going on with the messages from divine masculine? Hello to the divine feminine today. Thank you. We've got quite a bit. Quite a bit. We've got two from the divine feminine. So let's read this first. Sorry, five vocals. <laughs> I don't never thought it makes sense. All right, divine feminine message. I feel you denying our connection. Deep within, we naturally meet. And the more you repress, the more I purge for our one soul. Please heal. As a sacred, sacred feminine, I can't help but feel you. It's how we were created as one. So I feel like your masculine's feeling this and has felt you move on, divine feminine. And where you naturally meet, the more that you repress, the more that you this person is purging they're feeling the divine feminine in their energy of not paying attention to this connection right now and it's making them purge because they know that they they may have lost you or it's triggered them in some way because you've been elevating in yourself that's the feeling that i'm getting we have here divine feminine i'm so angry about our situation i'm doing my best to heal this i know you feel my anger but i also know i have to express it in order to heal it so they're definitely feeling um, inside of them this anger this ignition of purging and feeling what they've done to divine feminine okay we've got five messages from the masculine let me take a sip of water this is a little intense guys but love to hear your comments below about how this me this message resonated let's see your flowering heart called me like a hummingbird did we not see the hummingbird today you guys like how many times we saw it in the divine feminine read in the masculine read? look at the readings the last three readings the hummingbird and now i got the message okay <laughs> so funny your flowering heart called me but like a hummingbird i could not linger for long can you forget me remember the hummingbird finds the sweetest nectar and always comes back to the sweetest one no matter how many other flowers they taste I am seriously working on healing the addictions in my life. So they're working on their patterns, okay? I'm in the process of ending this karma. Breakups, fighting, and financial issues are being resolved. Wow. So they're really planning it out. It's been a living hell without you. Wow. Who are your masculines? My masculine's out partying, having a good time. Hey guys, I'm just like the energies that I'm picking up. Like there must be some unions coming in. So I would love to know. Um, right now, I'm not seeing it in the collective. My clients are the clients that I'm working with are becoming really powerful feminines. But if you're coming into union stuff, I would love to hear how this resonates for you. I'm doing my best to trust our love and not listen to outside influences. It's very challenging for me to stand in my truth. 
so they're they're going through the brunt of it i feel like i need to get one some romance angel like i said earlier let's see some final messages here from d m to df what are some final messages for the divine masculine to the feminine what did I not say I saw reconciliation? Trust that it's coming. Your reconciliation. I feel like I need to make a song out of that. Remember that? Da da seven oh three oh five oh nine nine. Remember that song with the numbers six oh seven three four. I don't know what the number is. <laughs> it's an eighties song, but it's like I feel like R E C O reconciliation. Oh my God, you guys, I'm such a dork. What is going on here with? the what did i say i'm too psychic for my own good reconciliation that's why that's why you guys need to get a reading from me okay i'm <laughs> just saying this is the magic that happens in my energy reconciliation happening guys let go of control you can't control it all right calling you in this mask is calling you in drop the mic that's it so much love you guys i hope you enjoyed that i had fun doing that i put that upside down totally reconciliation totally things happening for you i want to know i want to know i want to know so i'm sending you love don't forget to like subscribe book me let's work together come meet me in the mornings do the divine feminine stuff with me i am on a roll in this fire i'm like on fire you guys i'm like so excited to be doing more of this stuff for you and being creative and all that don't forget to like and subscribe join my sweepstakes i'll see you live on friday or i'll see you live tomorrow morning at 8 a.m bye bye, bye.